Hello and welcome back to Attempting to Allardyce. Uh, we start today on the Premier League table, where you can see Manchester City have wrapped up the league with games to spare. What was more important though, fourth place currently. Um, nobody who can threaten us has a game in hand on us. We actually have a game in hand on Manchester United. So, yeah, that's why we're here today, because it is very very important and it is the worst game for it to be important let's have a look at how we got to this point um in the old schedule we last met it was here the 4-0 win over everton um lovely football was played we then had some big games to follow that and we kept our good form going with a 2-1 win over chelsea georges mer with an 89th minute winner there um Fantastic stuff. We then absolutely humps Tottenham. 4 0, 5 0, 5 0. I can count. That's a number. I can read it, honestly. 5 0. <sighs> Sensational. Sensational. What a game. Well done to everybody involved. Um, then beat Brighton 3 1 at home. Um, very good to see. You'll notice this name is popping up a lot. Feet Up has found his shooting boots. Uh, then a 2 1 win over Arsenal. You can see again that name. Beat up another 2-1 win and then the game that leads us to today's game being very important was a 1-1 draw against Leeds which was dog shit um, should not have happened so if we had won that would have been in a much better position but no we've decided to make an away trip to Manchester City important so great that's, that's fun isn't it before we go into it, because I've been putting it off for probably about a week, and I'm going to put off some more. We talk about um, some other things, like, for instance, Feet Up and his, his form recently. He's only 20 years old. You can see his, his stats are improving. Uh, we're playing him on the complete forward uh, attack, um, and you can see that's what he's been trading on. And he's, he's improving at it all the way around. He, he's really found some form. Um, let's have a look at that form. See, all these goals have just come out of nowhere. Early season... Not well. This is December. You're looking at here. He had some good games, a couple of bad hit and miss, and then all of a sudden, here end of January, start of February, one goal, one game off, one goal, one assist, one goal, one assist, one goal, two goals, two goals, two goals. I had a bit of a shocker at Leeds, but that run of form. He scored one, two, th six games in a row, six games in a row. In those six games, he has got nine goals. Very good form, and we owe that to one very simple little switch that little switch is in the tactics when they load right here end of january start of february change from an advanced playmaker to an attacking midfielder on attack just to give it a little bit extra edge uh, you can see we've got some injury problems at the minute uh, rafa is actually you're not going to be for the rest of the season seven days two weeks we might see the last game we'll see um but obviously he's been very important to us this season with the switch, he uh, stopped scoring as much and boosted his assists uh, right up to nine. Uh, Ten goals, nine assists, involved in 19 ga goals overall um, in the 32 games he's played there in the league. Fantastic stuff, Rafa. Will be missed. Um, of course, he will be. Uh, Tete and Pereira on the same pitch at the same time. Shiro Diabate left-hand side. Benkovic, Mer in the middle. Hendricks and Didi. Grealish in behind R. I've got a little link as well. Uh, Grealish, is, um, Grealish and Madison actually... Both in the top what, top two for distance covered in the league per 90 minutes. So, our hard workers. Now, let's go back to today's game. Let's have a look. Manchester City. They've won the league, right? They were knocked out of the FA Cup. They've already won the Carabao Cup. And they've recently been knocked out of the Champions League. In fact, just this week, a few days ago, by PSG. They've got nothing left to play for this season. So if they could just let us have this one, and then beat Arsenal, just let us have this one, Man City. We need it. Three days after their away goal a defeat to PSG, um, they put out what is still a strong lineup. There's no Kevin De Bruyne in there. Aguero's missing. Are they on the bench? No, no Aguero or De Bruyne on the bench. Bernardo Silva is there. Foden's there. Memphis Depay is there because, of course, he has Kieran Tierney, of course, um, playing for City in, in, the, in this game. Uh, still a strong midfielder, Gundogan and Smilinkovic-Savic, who's a 
devastating player. Leroy Sane scores against us every time we play him. But we're actually going in again, attacking, positive football. We're going to the Etihad. They've just been knocked out. They've got nothing left to play for. Surely they'll be on the beach and a bit sad because it's a sad beach. Let's forget that metaphor. Move to the dressing room. Come on, lads. Show me what you can do to keep our run going. All of you, get a bit of faith in you. And off we go. They have a throw in. It's uh, only been a minute. Um, we barely got past the kickoff highlight. Um, don't do it again. You know, catch us, Michael keeps it out. Uh, Schmeichel's just back from injury, so look in top, look in top form. We've actually escaped with a counter-attack here. Arp is away down the left-hand side. Can he make anything of it? He does. He gets it into Diabate. He's running to the box. Gets to Arp again. Ricardo Pereira at the back post, surely. Oh, he's offside, but... It's a throw-in for Manchester City. Again, on this left-hand side, Sane and Mende trying to team up and bring the game to our box. There is Milinkovic Savage, and he's... We've got away with it. It's another throw in for Manchester City. Uh, you can really tell apart the team today with these light blue and white kits that we've chosen. Um, they've had a shot. It's uh, deflected away and Mendy will get it back. They've got a free kick in their own half, which can only mean this is going to end up being passed into our penalty area. Sterling and Savage, oh, they're just they're knocking it around very easily. Manchester City, as always. Sarni gets into the box. Good block. Get a body in the way. Mendy, good block. Get a body in the way. Gandogan, Savage. Again, into Jesus. Savage, just keep getting bodies in the way. Mendy get, doesn't get the crossing. They get a corner. Hopefully it won't come to anything. It came to something. Fuck off, Manchester City. Bunch of pricks. Bunch of overpaid assholes. Can't even win the Champions League, you fucking assholes. But you fucking already won the Premier League. You just want to ruin my day, don't you? Every fucking time. It's another corner. Um, yep, good. Good. They're still coming at us. It's another highlight I forgot to mention. Although, we've got the ball back. Come on, let's break. Ricardo Pereira. Launches himself up the field from a challenge. Gets it into feet up. Feet up. Oh, he's got to. He's got to finish that. It's another highlight for Manchester City. They've got a little free kick inside their own half, which, of course, leads to a passing move up the left-hand side where we fail to close down the options. And Sterling gets a header somehow. Luckily, it was he had to sort of lean back for it. It wasn't that threatening in the end. Uh, it's... Is this not over? This isn't over. Schmeichel hits the ball over the top. Can Arp actually get there? Stones does, unfortunately. Arp still chasing him. Arp will keep chasing. He stopped chasing. They're coming back at us again. Sterling, on the right-hand side this time, gets a long ball over to Gabriel Jesus, and that was too easy. That was really, really shit. Fucking hate Man City so much. Ah. Uh. Come up the right-hand side. Sterling just has all the time just to put one ball over. I think that's Benkovic. Doesn't quite have the pace. Uh, Georgie Mare doesn't have the pace to keep up with. Gabriel Jesus really should be putting a leg out just to stop the ball getting anywhere near to him. It's half-time. You can see Liverpool are 2-1 up in their game. And they're one of the contenders to the top four. <sighs> I'm not going to tell them that. Efforts were excellent. No, I'm going to say avenge. Avenge Manchester City. Not avenge Manchester City. Avenge us from previous meetings with Manchester City. I know there's more. Tetty. Tete. Do something. Damn it. A cross is whipped into the box and it's cleared up by Sane. And that's how the highlight starts with us wasting a cross. Uh, a crossing opportunity. Gabriel Jesus plays a really good ball to Sterling. Schmeichel has to be strong uh, and palm it away for a corner. Another highlight opens with them having the ball at some point on the pitch. It doesn't matter where. They just come again and again and again. I just don't know what to do. Because, because what, what the fuck can you do? It's just shit. Just fucking get rid of them. Off the game. 
take them off the game. It's not fair. Just fuck off. It's another corner. Greenish heads away and Didi just pounds it straight back to Mendy and here they come again. It's another shot on goal. What can we do? Alright, so I've panicked. Um, Ibrahim which is on his Ningdanch. Pereira drops back to right back. And... Um... No, that's it. That's what, that's what we're doing. Just about to say show some passion. They've hit the crossbar. It's another free kick. And it's taken short. Loads of space. Ta challenge though, and Ndidi's away. Ndidi. Let's get back in this. Gives it to Arp. Arp's got an option to the right hand side. It's Greedish. Greedish on that right hand side. Gets the ball across. Diabate's there. One back. Why are you off celebrating? Please go and get please can you get the can you get the ball? Diabate, can you go in? Great, uh, we're back in it. 3-1. Time to spare. The enganch works. He didn't do anything in, in that goal at all. It was just a good counter-attack and Greenish chose the right option. Playing it across the box. Diabate with another goal for his sensational season. That is the last thing needed right now. Um, potential foot injury. Great. Uh, Torreira will have to play the rest of the uh, game. It's uh, another highlight. It's played out short, and here they come. Can we win the ball back and maybe get another counter-attack going? Diabar, it does get a challenge, but it's only fallen to Milinkovic Savic. And he gets it straight out to Serling, who's now on this left-hand side. Uh, but Georgie Mayer does get a challenge in eventually. Oh, it's a... it's a What? He's apparently... I mean, I saw a lot of the ball being got and none of the man, but... Fuck, if we deserve anything from these games it's like the fucking it's, it's just like football manager doesn't want you to win anything they give you the best defensive midfielder you've got getting injured they give them a penalty for nothing it's just absolute horse shit quite frankly playing Manchester City and I'm fucking sick of it it's a free kick it's 4-1 who gives a fuck anymore making a change chill well off Jorge on It's a highlight, Ibrahimovic is on the ball, and we're actually moving forward. I put us up to very attacking, and Feet Arps bagged another goal. Still two minutes, uh, plus injury time left. Surely not. Good good for Feet Arp, though, to get another one. I think that might put him in the uh, top three for the golden boot. Good little pass into him. Arp, straight over the keeper. Lovely, let's go. It's a corner to us. <sighs> Up just over. Um. Well. <sighs> Catch us, Michael. What are you doing? You just just control it. Just control it, mate. We're never going to beat him if you do stupid shit like that. It's 5 2, it's finished. And Catcher Michael has gifted them a goal. He's fucked up horribly. Nobody's had a good game, as always, when we play these fucking assholes. Just. Fuck off, all of you. Demotivated? You were shit. Now that's indeed his season over. Let's just uh, wish him. Yeah, yeah, good, good stuff. That was our oh, Southgate was there, was he? Well, I'm glad that everybody impressed. Chilwell and Grealish, w really impressed there. Well then, that leaves us still fourth, but Arsenal have a game in hand now. Who are they playing? Um, let's find out. It's oh, it's a North London derby. Where are Tottenham? Where are Tottenham? Not too far away, but. If Tottenham won the North London derby, we would still have a good chance. If it's a draw, goal difference is not in our favour, but could still work. A Tottenham win would be ideal, but we can't really rely on other people's results. We've got to go through these th final three games and win every single one for Champions League football. That's what we need. 
Champions League football from the final three games. And with that, we're going to meet back on the last game of the season. It's Watford at home on Sunday the 10th of May. A lovely Sunday in May where we'll come home and just try and win a game of football. That's what we'll try and do. So, see how that goes. For now, though, I hope you've enjoyed today's um, Salt Fest. Here's to the next three games and Champions League football for Rafa Arp and Co. See you the last game. <laughs>